and pay a fly called the Arrowwing uh, Mayfly. So we have a B175 size 10 in here. And I'm using black tie and thread. So tail is uh, cock fastened dyed black. So we'll take out a few fibers and then um, generally I'd use three tails on a knife label and on this I seem to use a few more. So tie in maybe four or five fibers and leave them quite long. Now, to rib this, you could use uh, some sort of black stuff, so basically you could use your tying thread. Uh, I think the original uses uh, black flexi floss, but I'm going to use a black floss itself here. I'm tying this John, I'm just pulling it back. And then come back to the rear of my fly. Wax the thread, and the body of this fly is snowshoe rabbit. Now, I'm sure not everybody has a snowshoe rabbit. This is one, uh, and the idea is that this fur on a snowshoe rabbit seems to be quite buoyant, so uh, you can tie like straight little dry flies with it, just as the wing and stuff. But uh, here we're going to dub it. I've cut a bit off it. This is sort of like a whitey, creamy, natural snowshoe rabbit. And we're going to dub it on as a body, I suppose, with the hope that it will be slightly buoyant and that this fly is uh, very delicate as far as mayflies go and is meant to sort of just sit in the surface film. And uh, given that the wing on it is going to be CDC, uh, it tends to sink quite rapidly once it gets caught a fish or something like that. So we'll wrap the uh, the black floss in the opposite direction, and that's so as it doesn't sink into the dubbin and get lost. So it still gives us our good demarcation. So the wing gives the fly the name, the arrow wing. So Arrowing is a product by uh, TMC and uh, or TMCO I think it is. And basically it's a white sort of synthetic fiber, but it seems to float fairly well. So just gonna tie that in across the middle. Then pull this back and this one forward and sort of do like a figure of eight. Between the two. And I'm just going to put a little dab of super glue in the middle of that just to set that in position, stop it spinning. And this fly has two hackles, and these are very awkward hackles to work with. So we have a white uh, CDC. And a natural grey CDC. So I'm just looking through these for feathers that look sort of a little bit more hackly because CDC puffs are quite short, not a big pile to work with. But if you look through, you'll find certain feathers that have a bit more sort of hackle structure to them, a little bit more. Now, you could uh, split your thread or put a loop in or something like that to create a dubbing loop. But I'm going to try and hackle it normally. Hopefully it will work. I'm going to tie the white one in at the back, double it over itself. Try and slip all the fibers to one side. I'm 
wig all my tie and thread through that. Tie this off in front. Now you could try wrapping the two together but they're so clingy and so awkward to work with that you'll probably end up just tying everything down. So I'm going to tie off the white and then I'm going to wrap the natural grey in front. Like a head tackle or collar tackle hopefully. So same again. Tie it in by its tip. Try and stroke the fibers to one side and get on a wrap or two of that in front. Hackle tied in, we just pull all straight out. So, as you notice, I haven't trimmed these yet. Now, to get them both the same length, pull the two together up, trim them off at the length of our hackle fibers, our CDC, and then I'm just sort of going to splay those out and then I'll flip the fly around so as you can see the idea behind the arrow wing is that it sort of splays out and this is a little, that's quite buoyant but a very delicate thing but that is the arrow wing mayfly. <laughs> 